good morning and welcome to A Long Obedience in the Same Direction. It's our goal with this message series to encourage all of us to chase hard after the Lord over the long run of our lives. And that we don't just follow God in, a, in the short term or in a burst, but in a long pattern, a long trajectory. And I'm excited today to have Ed Wilson agree to be interviewed here. And uh, Ed has been a part of this church a long time. He leads one of our home groups. He comes in early about every Sunday morning to pray with me in anticipation of the morning service. And then Ed is uh, taking on the responsibility of spraying all those dreadful weeds that grow up in our gravel parking lots. And uh, he does his best to keep them weed free. And uh, we appreciate it. Ed, thank you very much for agreeing to be here. You're welcome. You've known the Lord a long time. and. Uh, how long ago was it for you when you gave your life to Christ? Well, most people are going to give you a date. I can't. I don't remember the date. Okay. <laughs> most people say, oh, I was saved August 14th, you know, 19th, whatever. But right. I don't remember the exact day. I know it was an early night, 63. 1963. 1963. I was 15. Baptized that April 28th, I believe it was, 63. Man, you followed the Lord for over 50 years, and uh, that's an amazing run and inspiring to all of us. What would you say has been a key for you to following after the Lord for such a long time? I'd say that's the one, if I was going to give anybody any advice to be faithful and to learn to trust the Lord, I'd say stay in the Word. Stay in the Word of God. Amen. Man, that's great advice. Well, let me ask you this. I'm going to guess if you're like any normal person, you've not only had some ups, but you've <laughs> had some down times. And um, how have you pulled yourself out of those down times? Uh, the down times, you know, when you think about it, you really think about, you know, the down times. For me, the down times were when I failed the Lord. You know, I came home from work disgusted at myself because I'd handled some issue. This is just an example. An issue that came before me that day. I mean, there's hundreds of issues throughout a week, you know, that I had to deal with. And I tried to walk in integrity, but I didn't always. Hmm. Sometimes I slipped. And I would come home and I'd be disgusted with myself and I would just kind of beat myself up. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that I had to rely on was the Lord and His promises. And if you look back in the Bible, there's so many people that went through the same things that I did only a lot longer ago. But, you know, Moses killed a man. David committed adultery. And Isaac lied about Rebekah being his wife and so forth, you know. So they failed too, you know. That kind of gives you a little bit of hope that, hey, maybe God still okay. thinks I'm okay, you know, because uh, they went on to be great men. And uh, well, that's fascinating. So it, that would have grown you. out. That would have grown out even of your personal study here. You're reading about these different people in the Bible, and mm -hmm. God didn't give up on them, and they didn't give up on no. themselves or on God. Right. <clears throat> Well, I like that, and a little bit of a summary here is that, I mean, your time in the Word of God has been significant, and then the times when you were discouraged, you sort of came to realize, I'm not the only guy that's ever no. failed God, no. and he kept loving them. Um, well, let me ask you this then, uh, at your season of life, what keeps you going? I mean, why don't you just say, well, I'm going to retire on God and yeah. uh, just lay out and let somebody else do it. What keeps you going, continuing to serve the Lord? Well, I'm going to say that I've heard the saying, and I'm going to steal this from somebody, but they say that your Christian walk is not a sprint, it's a marathon. But I don't think that's right. Okay. Because a marathon ends. Oh. You know, it has a beginning, it has an end. Okay. But your Christian walk never really ends. 